Hello guys. Hello guys. Hello guys. Welcome back to my YT channel. So, oh my god. Our topic for today is all about health and fitness program. So, by the way, guys, so I need to uh, emphasize that I'll go back to the usual health and fitness diet program. Okay, health. Can you read this one? Health and fitness diet program. Okay? Things like that. Yesterday, I did, I did 20 rounds of, of an exercise. Uh, 150 jumping jack, 50 push ups, 100 sit ups, like that, and a lot of physical stretching. Okay, so just yesterday also, I monitor my weight. Okay, so uh, I think it's gonna be uh, 10 to 12 hours after my exercise. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's monitor my weight again now. So, where is my weight platform? Okay, here's my weight platform I have here now. See? So, let's check on this part without holding the microphone because the microphone will contribute to the additional weight. And also, this is the right? right? Wow, perfect. 65 kilograms. I reduce one one kilogram. Okay, imagine I eat. Okay, so, so I already managed my weight. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether I will eat a little bit more. It will just goes back to normal my weight because you managed. Okay, things like that. And self-discipline also. Okay, by the way, today after the work, I also walked. 4.23 kilometers. Okay, that will be equivalent to 4.23 kilometers, equivalent to 5,023 steps. Okay, and the calories burned is gonna be okay, 406 kilocalorie. 46 kilocalories is just good, right? To reduce this one kilogram just yesterday, things like that, because I'm just 66 years yesterday, now 65 kilograms, and I just eaten my, you know, my snacks to take. My snacks should be by the way, guys. Really, it's, it's gonna be a, uh, imagine it's gonna be chicken, okay? That's protein and also a little bit of mixture of vegetables like uh, a cabbage, the raw cabbage and also the raw and sliced carrots and cucumber. Of course, this will be the servings of the mash hall. And then uh, two pieces of uh, fried chicken. I think it's gonna be a little bit of battered chicken with a little bit of flour things like that and then I have also here the, the you know I have not yet eaten I haven't yet eaten my apple and my orange oranges I think it's gonna be orange from orange line because two oranges in a day would also be uh, too much acidic to prevent also hyper acidity right too much acids so there's a lot of things that you have to remember, okay? Because hyperacidity also is not good to your stomach, then it will turn your stomach to be upset, things like that, okay? So, 4.23 kilometers, 5,000 steps, and equal to 406 kilocalorie, things like that, okay? Oh my gosh. Okay, so actually you need to maintain 6,000 steps in a day. 
So I have a software, some, some software help data to monitor that everything. But sometimes I could not reach 5,000 because you know, sometimes I don't walk, sometimes I don't jog. So the only way to compensate that is to room around the plant sites. Okay, things like that. I have also to, to climb in the first level, second level, third level. But the slope of the staircase also would help a lot to have the steps. There's a lot of ways to increase the steps. Not only walking in a straight direction, but also sometimes in an inclined staircase going up and going down. Things like that. Or shall we say, go in a little bit of a circle. You know, you have to roam around the, let's say, uh, side to side, for example. Yes, I have to drive in a pickup car, but I have to stop a pickup car when I do inspection and see really what's happening in the process area. And there's a time that you will walk. Okay? So, meaning to say, if I cannot walk, I will not be happy. <laughs> this walking is the best exercise, mga palangga, as advised by the doctor and based also to my research okay like that so though walking just on the uh you know eliminate uh not eliminate produce <laughs> sorry uh sweat less compared to jogging or uh, going to the gym but at least right do things like that so my maximum is six thousand steps i haven't reached yet okay I haven't reached yet, by my, but, my, but my weight is in the range. Okay, things like that. So, in my body mass index, things like that. Okay, get the point. Because I, I am not tall. I am only five, five feet, three and one half. Okay, and tall. Things like that. So, I have to compensate with my dietary uh, food meal plan for selection of the health, healthier food though it is not the perfect healthier food or something like that at least get the point things like that but i don't also try to eliminate the let's say the salty foods i reduce early because i can also eat the junk foods once in a while, things like that. In fact, you can also drink uh, soda drinks, diet soda drinks. Get the point. Okay. So if you try to restrict my mga palangas, if you drink also too much diet soda drinks, for example, diet Pepsi, like Coke, Zero Coke, things like that, then it's also not good. Okay, but if you drink also too much with the soda drinks also, or the soft drinks, then it's not also good. <laughs> but uh, if you try to compare the two, much better that you drink diet soda drinks, at least, because you are talking both with excessive thing. You get the point? Because a uh, light coke, less calories like that, or even zero calories compared to the soft drinks. Okay? So, I will never go to the technicalities, the technical uh, information or science information for that because my blog will take longer. Okay? So, health and fitness and diet program. Okay? I mean the calculations. I will never go to that. Okay? Things like that. Now, so my uh, meals are strictly plant. <laughs> strictly plant. So... This is my uh, lifestyle habit, okay, generally, okay, things like that. So I don't have to eliminate, eliminate, no, enumerate specifically, okay? Sorry guys, because you know, I'm very, very tired also of walking with a mixture of a little bit of running from the, you know, from the plant or to the, from the office to the camp. Things like that. You get the point. That's why I reach 5,000 steps, losing 46 kilocalories a day. Okay? 4.23 kilometers. Okay, so I have the cup, right? Okay, the Adidas cup. Then I love the heat of the sun because it's not penetrating towards the skin because it's very 
uh, very cold season like that. And then, you know, I have also the idea that vitamin D will be there. Though the vitamin D at uh, afternoon to night is less compared to the vitamin D in the morning, but still have vitamin D throughout the 24 hours if you will expose to the heat of the sun. Okay? Generally have vitamin D, but as you go uh, afternoon, go into the sunset, of course the vitamin D will also be there. Okay, but the most abundant vitamin D will be 6 in the morning, and 7 o'clock in the morning as the sunrise. But it doesn't mean there's no vitamin D. Okay, in the afternoon, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, that's a wrong concept. Wrong notion and philosophy, things like that. You get the point. Still have, but in a winter season, the issue is only the penetrating heat of the sun. Okay, because that's too hot. That's only the you need to beat the heat. Wow, beat the heat to produce the sweat <laughs> during your metabolism. Okay, things like that. So I need to to be fortified with vitamin D at the same time increasing or regulating or controlling my blood flow circulation okay now when i did my vacation leave for 35 days my blood pressure is 110 over 70 this is normal though this is not an ideal you know normal i do not perfection as long as it is in the range for normal bp things like that the point according to the wife of my brother who is a physical therapist things like that okay so this is my health so in a day you guys i have to control the the fat and tail. okay so it's gonna be like that but sometimes you cannot control but at least for example this is a very basic example if the okay free food things like that in your company or you'll be the one to buy your food if you didn't have to select, select <laughs> the meaty meaty food meaty 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 say beef loaf hot dog corned beef uh what is we call that one the, the sausage the, the bacon okay for example uh you need you need to eat one piece only things like that out of two out of three things like that Okay, then for example, in a day, so if the servings will be, for example, on the uh, chicken, then you have to eat only one time chicken in a day. Things like that. You don't have to eat twice chicken in a day. So that is my, you know, uh, lifestyle food habit in a day. Okay, so you need to monitor that every day. Then you have to monitor also your coffee and tea intake. Coffee and tea and tea. Okay, at least it should be three to four times maximum. Okay, you get the point. Things like that. Okay, so so with uh, less sugar or even without sugar, but nobody can sustain and without sugar, right? because it's very bitter okay like that very bitter so based on my research the more bitter the food really is the more it could kill bacteria and viruses right remember we have the four tastes or four taste parts wow b-o-t-s sweet sour review the basics Sour, salty, and bitter, except to the, you know, to the tasteless. We don't include the tasteless, right? Only this one. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter. Okay, of the four tastes, taste, sorry, mentioned here, bitter is the enemy of the bacteria and viruses. Okay, of all the tastes. And of the four tastes here, sweet is the bacteria strength and virus strength. Sweet. So the more you eat 
cake, halo halo, chocolates, chocolates like that, ice cream or anything that is uh, fortified or added with sugars, then the more it will attract bacteria and viruses into your immune health system. Because this is the taste of the bacteria and virus love. Even though you will not research that in the Google search, by common sense, if the people love sweet sugar, how much more the bacteria and the virus? They're also well, a living organisms. And human being also is a living organism, the highest form of living organism. But this minute or small forms of living organisms also belo belong to the living organisms. You are just equal, right? So we have life. Okay, so we love like also the sweet. Okay, now we don't also like bitter. So the organisms also don't like bitter also. In fact, they will die in a bitter environment. B-I-T-T-E-R. Pait. Okay, so that's why most of the antiviral food are vegetables. Okay, no sweetness. Okay, more of them closer to bitterness, just like the amparaya, the ginger, things like whatever. Most of them are close to bitterness, taste or bitter, and then it will kill the bacteria and virus. Most of them are generally antiviral and anti-inflammatory substances. Vegetables, the green leafy vegetables. Things like that. But don't you worry, you will be saved by the sweet taste by taking citrus fruits. Things like that. Okay? And then sour and salty is in between. Okay? So you don't have to take uh, worry for this. But be careful for the sour. It can cause also hyperacidity, as I mentioned a while ago. Hyperacidity. Okay? It will increase your gastric juices. And it will also cause. Uh, UTI, urinary tract infection, things like that. And it, it can cause also you to have higher levels of creatinine, okay, and also the bilirubin that will try to affect the function of your kidney as well, okay, just like the whole thing, okay. So, in short, you need to balance this in equilibrium, okay. Balance is the secret tool here. Balancing. The sweet, sour, salty, and salty and bitter things like that. But take note, salty and sweet, very, very close to each other because it will cause obesity and diabetic. Okay, things like that. And most of the salty can also uh, destroy your kidney. Salts. Okay. Salts. Problem. It could be not regulated to your system. So you will intake uh, in, moderate, and then just try to examine the, what we call this one, the intake. Could it be excessive or not? You don't have to uh, monitor that, uh, I'll never eat this because like this, like this, blah, 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 so uh, You will keep in moderation like that, in a balancing uh, style, uh, food lifestyle. Okay? Do I stated it clearly? or not. Any questions so far, my interactive audience, my virtual audience out there. This is a YouTube content creator there. Hello, shout out. Okay. And for the coffee and tea, uh, be careful also for the added sugar. Okay. So, this is going to be the, I will talk to you the, what they call this one? The <clears throat> MAFE, M-Y-P-H. MAFE. So, in English, myths are those stories taken in the past that are not subject to reality, right? Myth, M-Y-T-H. Okay, that is the opposite of fact. Closely related to paradox, okay, or a parable, things like that, just like what our prophets in the past are telling to the people things like this, that there are miracles somewhere in the past. So those are really a, a parable telling that we don't see to be factual, but we automatically believe by our own beliefs and conviction. Right? Things like that. 
Okay, get the point, mga palangka, kung hita. Chara. Okay, things like, so it is maze number one. What is a maze number one? Okay, maze number one. It is not true. It is not true that you have to drink Okay, alcoholic beverage to to have alcohol in your metabolism cycle. Okay, because we need alcohol in our body for our metabolism, for you know, for heating, cooling, uh, things like this. And also insulation. We have insulation inside our body. Okay, for the different biochemical reactions in our body, we need alcohol. Okay, so it is not true that you have to drink alcoholic beverage just to have alcohol in your metabolism. That is myth number one. Meaning, false statement or false claim. Why? Why is the most intelligent question? Because most of the why questions needs reasoning, logical reason, reasoning based on comprehension. Okay? Remember, uh, four W's and one H, things like that. What, where, when, who, what, why. Why is the most intelligent question? Because it needs you to reason out logically with substance. Okay? With main point. The point, things like that. So why? Okay. Because we have the natural alcohol already in our system. Okay. Which is the sugar alcohol or the glycerol. Okay. Things like that. So even though we will not drink whiskey, beer, wine, everything, red wine, still we have already alcoholic content by our natural biochemical reactions due to sugar, alcohol, glycerol, in which derive from the carbohydrates intake in our body. Okay? The C6H12. O6 or generally the CHOs. Okay, this will be converted later on to alcohol, the simplest alcohol, sugar alcohol. Okay, so all carbohydrates, not necessarily taste sweet. Okay, it could be lactose, glucose, okay, sucrose, things like this. Okay, so could also convert it to alcohol. So it's false statement. Okay, by our ancestors and our grandfather, grandmother, and we have also to drink wine to increase the, you know, the resistance to your energy, things like that. It's wrong. Okay, according to science. Okay, myth number two. So, factual lang ito ha. Okay, if you are on my vlog, I'm talking about factual evidence. Myth number two, or based on research and based in science. Myth or health science. Myth number two, it is not the fat that will make you fat. It is not the fat that will make you fat. Okay. It is sugar makes you fat. Sugar, sucrose, glucose, lactose. Galactus, okay, like this, cellulose, and the whole lot more in the saccharides family in biochemistry, the sugar family. Okay, sugars not necessarily taste sweet. There are sugars tasty, tasteless, and also bitter, things like that. Okay, the sugar we know as sweet only is the sucrose we buy in the market, the white sugar and the refined sugar, but the rest is not sweet. Okay, more of them are not sweet according to science. 
uh, according to process chemistry with respect to you know specific biochemistry topic things like that. okay it is not the fat that will make you fat it is sugar okay that's why most of the bodybuilder will eat chicken okay less rice or no rice plus organic fruit organic fruit could it be a sweet potato potato alone sweet potato and potato is not the same huh? okay things like that or anything that is organic highly organic in nature okay things like that they prefer chicken because uh, beef has more fat than chicken things like that okay so that's why if you cut your rice that is the best for effective to reduce your stomach bulging or bloating is your stomach. You know bloating? B-L-O-A-T-I-N-G. Your stomach is just like a, a balloon. That's, that's what you mean the bloating. Okay? Adjective. Okay? Describing. Okay? The, the stomach. Okay? Things like that. So we have made one and made two. Don't forget that. Okay? In our lesson for today, health science, health and fitness diet. Things like that. So I hope you like it. Okay? So you can comment a bit in the comment section if you like this topic. And then you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to this uh, vlog. Okay? If you can ask questions also regarding to the basics about health science, or let's say natural things or specifically can she or a little bit of physics then you can chat me in the FB messenger highly theoretical and factual we don't talk we don't cater politics okay because opinionated polarized minds will never agree with each other things like that so these are all science factual okay things like that if you want me also to, to elaborate uh, scientists uh, linked to my discussion and I can be able also to give you just message me in the message if you want also to google search google search if you want also okay things like that but sometimes google search also leads to error okay so especially if we're talking about science particularly chemistry because they are not very good in formulation some of the authors are not good in formulation for example the authors are mass communication graduate Political science and the title of their contents are science. It's far from their specialization. That's it. They need then more research. So, so it's better to publish a content related or closely related to your profession because you have a masterpiece and expertise to that. You get the point. But if you are a reporter or journalist, but your topic is climate change. You need to do a lot of backup research for that because you are not a science professional. It's totally different. Really. Okay. Though it would be okay, you study a lot, but it's not really that relevant compared to the science graduates, really. That's their last piece and the piece of a cake. Right? right, right. Boy. So bye bye, God bless everybody. I hope you like it. And then stay safe, take care. Just always remember the health protocols as usual, whatever happens. Okay, bye bye God bless everybody. This is your YouTube content creator. Uh, science, health, safety, and music. Bye bye.